Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back on my channel on YouTube. Oh yeah. Um, I haven't been posting in like weeks and months and years. Well, just weeks. But I'm back and we're going to do a lesson on river systems. So let's start finally. Okay. Um, right here. Alright, let's start. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and like this video. Okay, we're going to start from River Systems. Uh, right here. Okay, let's start, guys. So, I guess it's not going to be animated, which is okay. So, we're going to talk about River Systems. River Systems lesson. This is way over what it's today. It's like two weeks before. Alright, let's begin. So, River Systems. The tributaries are smaller feeder streams that flow into the main river, and the watershed is the land from which the water flows. The wider ridges or elevated regions that separate watersheds. And here is a picture of random cycle. A river system forms when local precipitation exceeds evaporation, meaning that more water is added to the land than taken away. The soil soaks up all the water it can hold, and any extra water would flow downhill as runoff. A runoff can move over the land, and it picks up and carries away weathered rock. So here's like a cool little picture. You can see here's the watershed, the main river channel, confluence, the source of the river. And there's some here, but you can't really see it. And here's the mouth of the river as well. Let's continue. Stream erosion. So the, the path a stream follows is called the channel. This is from the first slide of Hydrosphere Part 2. But the main streams and its tributaries form a network of channels that drain the watershed and they're, they lengthen and branch out the upper ends and where the runoff first enters the streams. So the process of lengthening and branching off is known as headward erosion. Where headward, when headward erosion occurs, the land at the upper end of the stream is eroded away and carried down the stream elsewhere, which causes the stream to go upward uh, at the top of the mountain. I think we have eight slides. The bank is the edge of the channel that is above the water level, and the bed is the part of the channel that is below the water. Bank up bed down. The stream gradually becomes wider and deeper as it erodes banks and bed. Now there are three factors that affect the rate of erosion, the stream load, the discharge, and the gradient. Talking about discharge and gradient, so we're going to talk about stream load first. So the soil, rock fragments, and dissolved minerals are transported by a stream called the stream load. The stream load has three forms. Dissolved load, which is minerals that are dissolved into the water. Suspended load, which is um, particles of fine silt and salt that are suspended in the water. Bed load, so now we're talking about bed and bank, I think. Bed load is larger material, which is too big to... B suspended, that's a typo there, it's supposed to be B suspended, and it moves by sliding, rolling, or ancillation, saltation. Saltation is basically short jumps. So, bed load has the greatest effect on stream erosion, and as the rock fragments are carried along the bottom, they scrape the bottom and sides of the stream channel, wearing it away. Alright, now we're going to talk about discharging gradients. So the discharge is the volume of water to move by the stream in a given time. The faster a stream flows, the higher its discharge and the more load it can carry. Now, swift streams erode their channels quicker than slow streams. And gradient is the change of elevation the stream over a given time, of the stream over a given horizontal distance, which is the steepness of the slope. And near the headwater, beginning of the stream, and the gradient is steep, so erosion is rapid, and as it nears the mouth where it empties into a larger body of water, the gradient is gentle, so the velocity and erosion decrease. Okay, stages for a river system. So youthful rivers erodes its beds, moves rapidly, and then erode banks, which produce V-shaped valleys. Now waterfall and rapids are common features, and they have few tributaries that carry a small volume of water. Mature rivers 
are ha, they have well established tributaries and carries a large volume of water. They erode the valley walls during a flood, creating a wide valley floor, and the gradient is very less steep. And it creates meanders, which is a series of white curves, which is caused by eroding of the outer bank and depositing sediment of the inner bank on the inner bank. Oxbow lakes would form when the meander becomes so curved, it cuts off the flow of the river. So here's a meander, it's so curvy. So yeah. Here we got, no, wait. Here's a mature river because of the meanders, and here's a youthful river. I put in the picture of a mature river because, you know, I just, they look cool. Okay, um, okay, old rivers, so old rivers has a lower gradient and they're slower than mature rivers and they begin depositing sediment in its own channel on its banks, creating a broad flat plain. Rejuvenated rivers is that the gradient becomes steeper because of uplift of the land and this can be caused because of con tectonic plate movement or volcanic activity. An increased gradient allows the river to cut deeper into the valley floor. Terraces form on the sides of the stream valley. Okay, so that is it. Next time we're going to talk about groundwater. But for now, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, we did that. And then next time, I'm not going to do groundwater, but I'm going to do International Space Station. I'm going to learn a lot of cool things about International Space Station in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And the next video, we're going to talk about Amazon. Now, all this is coming from my dad's weekly projects that he gives us. So stay tuned for that, for the next project coming up. And like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. I'm sure you do it. Wait, did you do it? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Do it. Do it. Okay, now you did it. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe, like, ring the bell. Did you ring the bell? Yes, you did. Okay, good job. Subscribe? Alright, there we go. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Alright. That's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in our next video. And bye. Peace.